Okay, here's the Legacy Collection 2009. It's the Medical Luke Skywalker and the Medical Princess Leia. So these are fantastic figures. I missed this figure when it came out. Uh, I think it's fantastic. What's reviews about it? Everyone says this is a great figure. One of the greatest Luke's ever. Okay, so it's really well articulated. It's got uh, ball jointed legs, hips. Uh, it's got a cloth. It's also known as the um, um, dressing gown Luke. And he's got sort of moccasin type slippers on, brown pants, bare chested. Uh, a great thing about this figure is his. His lower arm where he got it cut off is opened with the circuitry displayed, so it looks really good. Comes with a lightsaber, which, well, we don't, why do we need a lightsaber? It comes with a screwdriver as well, so I guess 2-1-B could uh, hold that and fix up his hand. So that's Luke Skulker. It's in the AFA bag, I'm not going to take it out because my arm's broken. Okay, so really nice figure. Legacy collection. Uh, Graded 9.0, uncirculated. So, had to get this. Reasonable price. Luke Skywalker. And then we've got Princess Leia in her medical frigate outfit. So, everyone says, says this is the VOTC 2004 body with a new head sculpt and still that's a good combination and this is also uncirculated 9.0 modern grade so we've got two amazing figures here both builder droids both from the Empire Strikes Back run series Wave 6 I think and both builder droids they both build U3PO so we've got Luke there amazing figure I got the Luke, I, I was bidding on the Luke and then I thought oh, I might as well get the le layer as well. And I talked to someone, Super Obliterator, and he told me this Luke's a great figure, so I thought oh, I might as well get it on. He's on YouTube, lives in, Ala lives in Alaska, so there you go. Great image there. Well, my arm's fixed, I'm like Luke, I've got a back mashed up arm so I can't really I can only I've got to really be really careful okay so there's Princess Leia great figure still haven't got the VOTC Leia yet but that's a great great layer hard to pick up because um, she's wearing white and the background of the card is white but two amazing figures. I'll show you the back now. And the vision that was planted in my brain. Okay, here's another look at the two um, figures. This is Star Wars, the Legacy Collection, 2009 Hasbro Luke Medical Frigate, Builder Droid 38. Excellent figure. Can't can't recommend this one more. This is a fantastic, fantastic look. Right, the head sculpt's not perfect, the face sculpt, but the features and the fact that this is so scene specific just make this an absolute must. Must. And then there's the Princess Leia, also very scene specific. She's only in this has this hairdo. Well, maybe at the end of A New Hope, she has her hair tied back as well. But I think she's got more, a more sort of uh, frilly dress on. So Princess Leia, medical frigate. This is Builder Droid 41. And there you go. Two excellent figures. Both worth picking up, especially the Luke.
Okay, here's a Mexican lady, Lily Lady, just the card back of Princess Leia in Battle Poncho, but it says there in Capa de Camp Combante, and there's the logo, Return of the Jedi in Mexican, El Regreso del Jedi, or Spanish, sorry, and writing in Spanish or Mexican, and then you've got the you can see some damage to the where the bubble was taken off and then you can see the Lily Lede logo there and I've got this from America got it if you go on eBay and just uh, type Lede Star Wars you'll see how much these cards go for so I think I won this in an auction and got it for about in English money about 20, 20 pounds, 25 pounds maximum but that just shows you how rare these cards are there is on eBay at the moment a carded uh, one of these I mean with the bubble and the figure and that's going for about 650 quid so you want to check that out but Mexican stuff is really expensive so there you go, Lily, Lily Lede. There's the famous logo. You can see the hole where they punch the holes in the back of, backs of the cards. Maybe the Mexicans believe to let the spirits of the figures out. Who knows why? But that's a nice, rare thing. This is. If you want w one of these carded, you're going to pay big, big, big bucks. I mean, there's a Luke Jedi uh, and Lily Lede card. That's about a thousand five hundred or something like that. I think that's in pounds as well. So you're talking big, big, big money. Okay, here's the back of the card. So Lede cards are very plain on the back, and you can see all the different characters. a very famous image very card specific country specific and just underneath the Jawa is where the hole is and there's all the figures and there's Leia in um, combat gear and then the back of the card, the disclaimer and all that sort of stuff. So this is a very rare thing. Very nice. Lili Lede, Mexico. Okay, one more look at the back of the card. And there you go. Okay. Okay, another cheap figure from France, graded AFA 85 near mint, it's the ATE tank gunner from Revenge of the Sith Attack of the Clones, Clone Army, comes with a green base that's done in a sort of foliage style, looks really cool, comes with a blaster, a helmet, Stormtrooper hel Clone Trooper helmet, plus a sort of additional helmet piece to go on top of it, and you can see how it looks on the actual photograph of the figure there or the character and then there's the actual clone trooper so great looking figure Revenge of the Sith card 2005 nothing remarkable about this one but if you're into clone, clone the army building I'm sure you've got this one so there's the back of the card Better look at the helmet. ATTE tank gunner. There's the picture of the figure with his helmet and his gun and the other figures in the line. So there you go. Got this one from France as well. So it seemed the more I ordered from France, the cheaper the posting would be, or the more value, the more you felt that you weren't getting so ripped off. So this was a ten quid figure graded 85 can't complain there I mean, the average price for this would be what five six pounds 
maybe four, six, four to seven dollars in the US. Everything's cheaper in America. So there's the back of the card. There's the front of the card. We've got loop. I mean, uh, ATTE gunner helmet. Extra piece for the helmet. Clone army pistol plus the base. The base looks really nice. Avenger the Sith, 2005. Okay, here's uh, a really nice thing, a Revenge of the Jedi, best thing security guard, white guard, a uh, proof card. So this is 1983, Ken of Star Wars, Revenge of the Jedi, best thing guard, white proof card, as it says on the AFA sticker there. Graded 85, population is 13. So there's at least 13 of these graded by AFA. And... Let's have a look at it. We've got the Revenge of the Jedi logo at the top. The name of the figure there, Best in Security Guard. The picture of the figure there. The Free Knee and Namafwa. The Kenner logo. The orange back where the figure would go. Um, what's his name? Um, laugh It Up Fuzzball asked me last time I did a review of one of these. Uh, how do you know it's a proof card? Well if you look at the corner here, you can see that the card is not rounded, it's squared. So that's one way of telling that that is a proof card. And you can see the Kenner logo as well. The tops of the card are rounded, but the bottom is squared. So everyone knows the t tale of this figure, card, sorry, that George Lucas was uh, thinking he'd call the film Revenge of the Jedi, then he changed his name, changed it because a, a Jedi doesn't really seek revenge, and he changed the name to Return of the Jedi. But Kenner had already started to produce the card backs for the, for the, uh, figures and then they had to change them to Return of the Jedi so worldwide there must be about 700 to 800 of these cards for about 48 of the figures and the prices range from mega high to it's like if you've got a Boba Fett one you talk talking about 5,000, 4,000, 3,000 quid to um I've seen a, I think a Darth Vader, and the, if it's graded AFA 90, yes, I think he wants £5,000 for it, which is a fortune. Or 2000 at least. Revenge of the Jedi. There's been quite a lot of these on eBay at the moment, so now's the time to, to get one of these. These are one of the sort of holy grails of Star Wars collecting. And you might be able to snag one for less than 200 quid if you are if you get get one that's bit st uh, got a starting at a low bid. The Revenge of the Jedi, best in security guard, and as you can see, in 2011 they brought out some Revenge of the Jedi BC collection figures as well, just to honour this. But these are the real deal, these are the originals. This is the back of the card, so you've got Collector 48. These are just before the Return of the Jedi ca came out, so these are all Empire Strikes Back and Star Wars original figures. And you've got the special offer, Freenia Numb, 
from Revenge of the Jedi with five proofs of purchase and where to sell it in to in America, Minnesota. And there's Neon Numb, barcode and the proof of purchase, that little blue thing there. So this is what the card back would have looked like if it had been Revenge of the Jedi and not Return of the Jedi. But you can get you can get figures on on cards like this with, with uh, Return of the Jedi 48 backs as well. I've got Princess Leia if you want to check that out somewhere. Original or Organa. The other Revenge cards I've got are the Luke Hoth there and Bosk Bounty Hunter, which I can't see yet. Where's Bosk? Oh, there he is. And now I've got the best in guard, white best in guard. So I've got three revenge cards now. Nice things to collect. Okay, here we've got Power of the Force, or Power of the Jedi actually, sorry. Star Wars Collection 2. Uh, R2Q5 and he's the black astromech droid that from the M Return of the Jedi you see him in the Return of the Jedi comes with a little red Death Star there a really nice figure looks amazing in black so says there 2000, year 2000 so 12 years old now Hasbro Star Wars Power of the Jedi Collection 2 R2Q5 uh, Imperial Misspell. So this is collection number four. It has a, a misspelling there. So they spell it E I M P E R A L. And the grade overall is 95. So it's graded 95, which is a very high grade. The card bubble figure. Overall grade 95. Excellent figure. Comes with a false file there. Tells you about R2Q5. And you can see the figure really nice. And it's on the Power of the Jedi card. So these are sort of came between Episode 1 cards and the Blue Saga cards. Really nice cards, these ones. I really like them. Great range of figures came with this lot as well. Okay, now for something really rare, we've got a Return of the Jedi Kenner two-pack action figures. So, at the end of the Kenner line, back in 84, 85, just to get rid of all the figures, Kenner just sold them on two-packs. They just put any old figures together, often without any accessory, accessories, and just to get rid of them. So this one was sold in KB in America for $2. You've got General Medine here. Medine or Medine. And comes without no accessories. And you get a Gamorrean guard as well. So as these were the, like the closeout, like Tri, tri logo, these tend to be really battered and you find them in really poor condition. So if you look at the bubble, it's really kind of dented but it's still sealed, there's no cracks in it or anything like that so this is a really rare item uh, so I paid about 40 say 45 quid for this including postage and packaging which is a bargain really because if you go on eBay and uh, type in um, Return of the Jedi 2 packs you'll find that most of them are in the States and they go for the cheapest you'll find them is about 100, the equivalent is about 150 quid or about 200 US dollars because these are really rare, there's not many of them and they tend to be really in poor condition so there's no picture on the card, it's just a plain brown with a red circle and then the action figures, Kenner logo there and the Return of the Jedi logo at the top, ages 4 and up and that's it, really plain. The card, back of the card is just plain white. I'll show you that in a minute. And so, but 
This is the Kenner Return of the Jedi 2 pack and you can get these with loads of different figures. So you can get Star Wars figures, Jedi figures, Empire Strikes Back figures all mixed together so you don't know what combination you'll get. But they just put them in randomly just to get rid of them because they knew that the market was dying so this was a way of getting rid of overstock. So there's your Return of the Jedi figure two pack. Another view of the two pack. As you can see the bubble is really crushed and dented. It's sealed but it's very fragile. It's like a very thin plastic. It stayed clear at least. They like the tri logo bubbles. There's the Gamorrean guard. No axe with him. Quite a good figure. And there's General Medane. Medane, Medane, Medane. And there's the price ticket. KB, $1.99. So there you go. And there's the. So it's figures made in Hong Kong. Figures. figures, two pack. I think you've got to leave it in the star case really because the bubble is so fragile. You've got to be really careful with that. Nice, nice item. Pretty rare. One to track down, if you dare. Okay, just a couple of things to round it off. This is the Legacy Collection Luke deleted scene from 2009. So it's where he. So you've got now a new version coming out with a. I think it's a cloth cape, which is much more substantial than this one. And goggles. So here's goggles. This Luke's kind of pretty thin looking. Reasonable face scalp lightsaber green and it's a U90 um, builder droid oh, that's 2008 this one got a picture there of Luke swinging his lightsaber nice to get a figure like this that sort of uh, from a lost or deleted scene and you can get the new ones out now which are the Luke, where he builds the light, lightsaber, Lando in um, Sandstorm Disguise, Le Leia in Sandstorm Disguise, Commander Kraken, I'm not sure there's any more, nice figure, not as good as the me uh, medical frigate Luke though, but still a nice. These are the range of figures it came with, so the Han Solo, Chewbacca, those three go together. Lictar Ni Nippet, the little Ewok baby, Akuev, I've got him. Yara Del Gargan, ev everyone loves that figure. Bane Mala, I've got him. And Darth Vader. And this comes with a, a builder droid part to build R4D6, it includes one of the legs. shows you how to fix it and there's yeah, it mentions about the sandstorm on the back of this card quite nice
Okay, another look at Luke. So, this is the costume he wears to get back to the Millennium Falcon. He's got goggles, a uh, blanket or a shawl, and his Jedi outfit underneath. And he's wearing a black glove. I don't know if he wore a black glove then yet. It might have been happened later. Maybe he did put the glove on. Nice figure. Another great Luke. Now, Saga Collection 2006, we've got Dud Bolt and Mars Guo. And these are two pod race drivers, so it's a two pack. There's Dud Bolt, looks amazing. The colours, I mean, just really stand out. And there's Mars Guo. Another nice figure, both very small. Of the two, it's Mars that bolt that stands out because he looks the colours, the red and the blue and the yellow on his belly just stand out really well. A really nice looking figure. I think you can get the pod race pilots at the moment in a five pack or something like that. So this is Saga Collection from 2006 and it's U90 so the card gets 90, bubble 90, figure 90 and it comes with Darth Vader hologram on the back figure and what's nice about this is the background pictures of the actual Moss Espa arena so got two really good cool looking figures there I love the sort of swordfish nose of uh, Dud Bolt looks amazing very nice these are from episode one. And there's some the pictures there. Here's the back of the card. There's Mars Goo and Dud Bolt. The two figures there. And the exclusive hologram figure which is Darth Vader. Other figures in the range. I've got that Naboo guard recently, so he's up on YouTube. Got none of the others. I was tempted to get that one as well, the Gagra or whatever. But she was slightly more than this one, so I just thought I'd stick with just the one. Nice colourful figures. It says, these two prodigiously stouted, snouted racers compete in the same pod race in which Anakin Skywalker wins his freedom from slavery. Dud Bolt, a shameless toady, is actually paid by the nefarious Sebulba to cause accidents during the race, a job that lands him in Mos Espa Med, Med Center. Mars Goo falls victim in, to the Sebulba's own treachery when the cheating dog pitches a a chunk of debris into his in 